Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Steal Away Building a Drain. This project is all about building uh, Robert's 370E um, steel cruising yacht 37 foot long. Um, the project's been going for uh, something like eight years all up now with a few breaks here and there. Um, at weekends and evenings I do most of the work and, and when I'm on leave for work. The progress can be slow but I'm definitely getting there so do enjoy the videos. And just remember, if you want to ask any questions, do feel free to post them in the comments below. Um, give me a thumbs up. Remember to click that bell below to get your notifications. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. That's much appreciated. Okay, we'll make a start. So what I'm doing today is making templates for the prop tube filler plates on the outside of the hull. Um, at the moment, the tube is just sat in position with a, with a shaft through it. What I do is get these plates cut out for the external filler plates. I'll tack weld them in place and tack weld the tube to it. And from this point, what I'll do is initially install some braces on the inside to keep the forward end of the tube from moving too much. Then I'll fully weld the outside. Um, I'll make up some filler plates for the areas around the inside, weld them in position, and that will more or less button up the, the propeller tube. From the template that I have made up earlier this morning, I've now marked off um, the area that needs to be cut out from this plate for the uh, left hand side. Um, once I've trimmed this area out, I'll fit it up by hand and make sure it's right. And once it's a good fit, I'll duplicate this for the other side. And these will fit into the boat in a kind of V shape, one each side, and they'll be fully welded. Um, what I will do is obviously I'll take these plates and I'll give them a bit of a teardrop shape each end so as they look nice like a doubler. Um, Alright, so let's get going and cut this out with a plasma cutter. To make sure I get a really good profile from the template when I do the cut, I'll actually use the template um, as a guide to run the plasma cutter down that curve you can see there. Um, the rest I'll just trim off by hand. But that should give me a nice close fit to the profile of the prop tube coming out through the hole. Okay, so here's my first filler plate. Um, this is the aft end where the bearing just comes through the bottom of the hull. That's the profile around the, the tube. And this is the forward end where the tube becomes flush with the hull. So basically I'll take that out now and just fit it up, make sure it's a nice close fit. Um, if I need to I'll, I'll tidy up any high or low spots so it's fairly close. And then I'll just duplicate this by copying it on another piece of steel um, and I'll have both sides in. Alright, good.
Okay, there it is. That's the uh, forward end of the plate, the aft end, and I'll make a second one to make this into like a. Um, come out of the way, you. What are you doing? What's the matter? Eh? Eh? I'm trying to make a video here, you know that, don't you? Eh? What a bit of fuss. Eh? Look here. Sit down, sit down. Yeah, so that's uh, one half. I'll make a duplicate half, like a butterfly half to that. And um, that'll be the first stage of fixing the prop duty position. That's the pair of doublers made up, the filler doublers for the um, prop tube, and that will fit around the underneath of the prop tube and the hull in kind of that configuration. Okay, next stage after that is I'm going to take the prop shaft out, the tube out. I've got to create a little bit more clearance between the forward end of the prop tube and the profile bar, um, so I can make sure that I can get the, the dripless seal um, over the end of it. There's, a, there's quite a small gap at the moment um, there and I need a bit more space so I'll trim that out and once I've done that I'll put everything back in and then once I've got to a point where the prop tube is rigid enough in position then I'll um, take out 
the shaft and the bearings and then I'll continue on and do a full weld up and do the inside plates as well. Also something else worth a quick mention, um, this plate is fairly fresh so it's still got mill scale on it and what I'll do is I'll drop them in the acid bath just for 5 or 10 minutes, I'll strip that off, I'll clean them off and they'll be ready to weld. Right, we'll see how they go when they come out. Been in the acid about 10 or 15 minutes. Removed all the mill scale, brought it back to more or less uh, fresh, clean steel. I'll get a bit of a clean up now and then I can weld it in place shortly. Just as a bit of a footnote there, when I do this, when I uh, soak these in acid for a little while, it's obviously quite a dilute solution. It's only about 25% acid, 75% water. But even once I've finished um, soaking them to get the mill scale off, I've got a second bath over next to it that I dump them in, which is um, a bicarbon water solution, about the same 20-25%, something like that. And that uh, neutralises any residual acid on the steel. And if you dry them quickly enough too, that you don't get too much um, flash rusting on the surface. It stays nice and silver. So there's that pair now, all cleaned up, ready to go. I'll now go up and trim off this, um, trim off the excess profile bar in the, in the um, bottom of the hull to make room for the uh, prop tube seal. Um, and then we can start actually welding it ready in place. 